Hi everybody, what's Builder Simulator like on the GeForce Now game streaming service on the RTX 3080 tier? Well, you're about to find out. Hello everybody and welcome back to Beetle Knees Plays. So yes, I saw this on uh, the GeForce Now uh, game list and thought I'll have a look at that, build a simulator, it sounds quite interesting. And I'll probably even do some gameplay videos of this to be honest. So, uh, but uh, yeah, if you uh, want to see more videos just before we get started, please give the channel a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel as well click on that subscribe button i'm a new channel and i am trying to grow it and if you did those two things for me it would be really really appreciated so thanks very much for that in advance so without further ado let's crack on now i have had a quick look at this and i was looking at the tutorials so i have actually done four of these tutorials uh, before but for the purposes Yay, of these videos uh, and every time you change onto a different uh, tile, you get this uh, this guy called Builder springs up and starts talking over you. So I'll have to try and uh, avoid that happening in future. Um, so yeah, I've done the f first four tutorials and I'm going to uh, have a look at them again uh, just for you guys at home and we will see how we go. So let's get on the first one. Foundation sound fun! And we'll click on begin. <laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory! You're probably wondering why you're in this place. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. My name is Bill Dern, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> <clears throat> Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? And by the way, I am using this just on a gamepad. I'm not using any keyboard uh, to play this game. The tool wheel is available under the scroll or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now. As I said, it's purely on the uh, gamepad and it's an Xbox gamepad I'm using. Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. Okay, so dig the foundation with a shovel. So I will press LB and choose the shovel with the right stick. And oh, we've got a shovel. Brilliant, let's go. Oh, we've got some feet as well. I haven't noticed them before, actually. <laughs> right, okay. Let's uh, get down here and let's get some digging done then. So Now, I did find out earlier, on giving this a quick go, that uh, rather than just keeping uh, individually pressing your RT... Hey, hey, I'm getting rusty! I wonder if he's going to stop interfering. Uh, yeah, rather than keeping uh, having to press the RT button, if you just hold it and walk forward, it's a lot quicker doing that. You just turn around and walk in line with uh, where you want to go. You just have to get it highlighted in yellow before it activates. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. The mo most fiddly bit really is trying to keep us walking in a straight line. Formworks and reinforcements. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. 
Okay, so we'll press select. Good job. Okay. Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Okay, so press the X button to get 100 of those. Buy those and onto reinforcements. Use the left stick to move across and press X to get 100 and A to buy. Great job! Okay. Did you know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? Psst. You just became part of it. Okay, so I need to press RB to select the boards and then where it's highlighted in green that's where we're placing them. Like he said if you keep the RT button press you can just walk forward and just keep placing them like that which does make the game uh, less tedious which I, I mean you know I'm, I'm not saying it's a tedious game but uh, it's better than placing them down individually definitely because I get the impression with this game there's quite a bit to it with the building and you don't want to be spending loads and loads of time on mundane tasks like doing foundations. Great! Next up is reinforcement. Same principle as with formworks. Click or hold. So we'll press RB for formworks and do the same principle. And you can't use more than what you've got. If I go forwards and then come backwards, it doesn't place any more uh, down and then you've got to go and buy some more. It, it just won't place them at all, so uh, that's quite a handy... quite a handy bit of programming because um, the last thing you want to be doing is keeping going back to the shop to have to buy more because you've wasted them. What is the lightest kind of building you can construct? A lighthouse! <laughs> Good job! Now it's time for the creme de la creme! Pouring the foundations! Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, builders waiting just for you. Okay, so here's the wheelbarrow, flashing yellow, and we press R2 to grab that. And we need to pour the concrete into the ditch that we've just dug, if that's a technical term for it. Being a builder, I have no idea. And assuming we press RT, do we? Yeah, okay, so walk forward and don't know whether we have to keep that reticule in line or not, or whether it's just a case of just centralizing it on the wheelbarrow, I don't know. But it seems to work. If I put the if I put that over there. Yeah, it still works. You can still fill fill it up. It's just that you're looking sideways, that's all, so. But I don't think it make I don't think you have to aim the reticule at at anything. I think it's just a case of lining your wheelbarrow up and pressing RT and off you go. It's a little bit finicky this bit, to say the least. It's a little bit like uh, reversing a vehicle with a trailer. It's just a case of getting it placed and positioned properly. If 
final bait. That's it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Yeah! Okay, so that's the first tutorial done, and we'll move straight on to the next one. So this is concrete preparation. Welcome back! You're probably wondering, how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it! Choo-choo! Now I can see this Bill fellow being a little bit of a Marmite character. You're either going to love you him or hate him. two types of mixes! Mortar and concrete! Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. Okay. So make it quick and effective. So here's the mixer. Let's turn that on. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. Okay, so LB, right on the stick, choose a shovel. And RT to dig. And yeah, I see at the top of the screen, as he said, uh, there's a meter. Hey, which hey, I'm getting rusty! A meter which is filling up. So we're just over halfway with the sand. Great! Now it's time for cement. Add some from the bags on the ground. It looks like you don't have to put your shovel away. If you pick something else, it just automatically picks it and then puts your shovel back. So that's quite handy and time saving as well. Now, here you can't keep the RT press, you have to keep Lovely. pressing it. All you need now is a bucket of water that you can find in your tool wheel. Okay, so LB and oh, yeah, there we go. Now, if I'm just pressing the right stick there, along with the uh, LB button, uh, it won't go onto that outer circle. So what you have to do is press RB, as it says there. Am I a joke to you? And that'll get you onto the outer circle and allow you to select the bucket of water or anything else on that outer circle as well. I'm assuming the percentage going up is how well it's mixed, so that's fully mixed now. What if I told you you could do it much simpler and faster? Go by the mixer and find the panel. There are three buttons here. Concrete, mortar, and auto switch. Choose the mix you want to create. This time it's going to be concrete. And click the auto switch to make it automatically. Its cost will be a bit more, but it's way faster! Great power comes with great responsibility, such as budgets. I'll improve your quality of life even more! You don't have to drive around with a wheelbarrow all the time. Open the tool wheel and choose the wheelbarrow. The game will teleport the wheelbarrow under the mixer at no additional cost! Now I was trying to turn the mixer off because he did say that as you leave it on it runs your money down which as you can see in the top right corner it is doing. My money is going down but I can't turn it off and I'm assuming it, it must be because we're just in the tutorial. So we'll move on and it doesn't really matter in the tutorial anyway. So yeah we need to press LB and RB, no RB again and we're selecting the wheelbarrow. So there we go that's got that selected. And the wheelbarrow's now there next to the mixer. Everything you need, you can pour the concrete from the mixer into the wheelbarrow. Okay, so there's the wheel. 
interact and use the left stick. We're not gonna pour the foundation again because there's no point. But we'll see each other in the next stage very soon. Yeah! Okay, so that's the second tutorial done. We'll just do one more, I think. Wake the hell up, for this builder. first video. We have a concrete screen to dig. Enough Easter eggs. Let's go. Every builder needs a proper concrete screen. Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Get your shovel and dig the ground! Okay, so I assume we're going to now dig a dirty great big hole. And again, the same principle, you can just keep your RT button pressed, your trigger button pressed, and just walk around and... Does it dig it backwards? Yes, it does, so you can walk backwards and forwards. And it'll just dig it. So it's not too particular. Great! Next up, you need a sand. You can do this in two ways. Either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. Then place it in the floor. Okay, so placing it where it's highlighted green. Nice! The second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. Okay, we can't do that now. I have to put it in the wheelbarrow. Great! Now, finish sand bedding by pouring the sand over the concrete screed. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll get rid of that shovel. Let's pick up this... We Actually, let's try doing it like it said before. If you press LB, I wonder if it'll bring it over to the sand. No it won't because it's wanting us to pick it up isn't it? So we'll have to go back to the shovel, uh, to the uh, wheelbarrow and actually grab it. Okay, it's probably just as quick to do that anyway really. Oops. Oh, we just want to put it down. RB, that's better. Right, okay. Now get our shovel back. And fill the wheelbarrow up. And... Oh yeah, it says there, doesn't it? I was just wondering if there was a... A meter to tell us how much we need. So we're at 70%, 93% and... 100. Okay. Put the shovel away. Grab the barrow. And let's go and put some sand in this hole. So it's all relatively straightforward up to now. I'm assuming it's going to get more difficult as we go on building a house. Because that's what the intention is eventually, to build our own house. Good job! Now we have to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Buy 30 grid reinforcements. Now I had this little problem before. I don't know if it's a bug in the game, but uh, I can't seem to bring the selection down to where it says concrete screed. Or is it already there? No, that's foundations, isn't it? I need to get it down to... Right, okay. So... What I had to do there is go across to formwork and then back again and now it allows me to go down to select that with the A button. So I don't know if it's meant to do that or whether it's a little bug or what but if you do get the, get the game just remember that when you're on this particular section you need to go across to the right and then come back again to the list on the left and then it will allow you to go down. 
So. If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice for you. I can't remember how much he said now. Did he say? I think he said 30 of each, didn't he? Now place them on the foil. Oh, just 30 of those first of all. Okay. So select those with RB. And again, we can just walk around. Keep the RT button pressed. Now it's time for concrete. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? Pour it over. Okay, let's grab the wheelbarrow. Oops. There we go. And you can just basically walk around just keeping your RT button again pressed and it will just fill it up. Which to be honest is a lot easier than trying to keep it in a straight line. Great work! It was scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. Now, every building needs an insulation. Fun fact! You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Okay, so back to the shop and across to the floor foundations. Change it to 10 and buy 30. Now place the insulation Come over. Come back out and select it with RB. There we go. And again. Walk around, keeping RT pressed. Perfect! We're nearly done! Use a wheelbarrow and pour out the final concrete layer. Okay, where's the wheelbarrow? There we go. So a final layer of concrete going on. As I said, it's probably the worst part of the game, this wheelbarrow business. It's, it's the most finicky part, I think. But we're getting there. Turn around. That's, That's it. it! Now you're done with the concrete screen loop. It'll get a lot better and rewarding from now on. Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. See you later, excavator! Okay, so that's the third tutorial done, guys. So I'm going to call it a day at that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. I will be doing more of these and some uh, gameplay videos, some Let's Play videos, once we get past the tutorials. So, yeah, once again, if you like what you've seen, please give it a thumbs up. I am a new channel, as I said before, and I'm really trying to grow the channel. And uh, if you want to uh, subscribe, please subscribe, and then uh, click that subscribe button. And how many times did I say subscribe there? Anyway, thanks very much for watching everybody and we will catch you on the next one all right bye for now